If you've used Google Meet on an iPad, you likely appreciate the convenience of secure and reliable video conferencing on a tablet with a good camera, great battery life, and excellent portability. And while many people are familiar with features such as how to mute your microphone, present your screen, or turn on captions, I find that people often overlook the following five. First, if you plan to use Google Meet often, I suggest you move it to the dock. Tap and hold, then drag the app icon to the dock. That way, you can swipe up or press Option Command D to bring up the dock on your device. Next, Notice that Meet displays video from your camera when the app starts. Too many people ignore this. Take the time to review your framing and lighting. I try to frame my head and shoulders in the center of the view, with my eyes about one-third of the way from the top of the screen. In most cases, I suggest you use the iPad in landscape orientation, positioned at a 90-degree angle to the ground. Note that since the camera is on the left side of the iPad when in landscape, this means you may need to place the iPad a bit to the right instead of directly in front of you. A box, a few books, or an adjustable stand can help you get the iPad high enough off the table to provide a level view. Third, if you're confident of your video setup or just want to start Meet quickly, you may choose to start Meet directly. Tap hold until options display, then tap either start a new meeting or enter a meeting code, and you're in. This long press method skips the preview step and works well when you use your iPad to meet in a familiar place. Fourth, Google Meet supports split view, which means you may select, drag and drop another app to either side of the screen during a meeting. This can be useful when you want to refer to items from Google Drive, a website, or any other app when you meet. However, be aware that when you move Meet to Split View, the app turns your video view off. Your microphone will still work, but your webcam will stop while Split View is active. You may re-enable video after you switch Google Meet back to full screen mode. Finally, it is possible to dictate text into chat within Google Meet. Of course, you'll want to mute your microphone before you do this. I also recommend you turn off your webcam Otherwise, people may think you're trying to speak to the group. Tap the chat icon, tap in the chat field, then tap the microphone to the left of the spacebar on the on-screen keyboard. If you use a connected keyboard, tap and hold the downward arrow in the lower right corner of the iPad screen to bring up the on-screen keyboard. Then, if necessary, tap the emoji icon to cycle through to a keyboard with the microphone available to the left of the spacebar. This is an example. Review the text carefully and make any corrections needed before you tap send. When finished with chat, re-enable your microphone and video when appropriate and desired. Let me know if you find these tips helpful and please share any additional tips for using Google Meet on an iPad with me, either in the comments on my article at techrepublic.com or on Twitter. I'm Andy Wolbert at a Wolper on Twitter for Tech Republic.